So what is up guys, Express Design here, and I'm back with another Twitter header, uh, anime styled. It's been a month since I did an anime, and I think I'm gonna keep that schedule every month in anime banner because you guys absolutely smashed it, smashed those with likes and views. Uh, it's a bit different than the previous one, it's, it's a lot different than the previous one. Uh, it has 3D kind of text and the background is totally different, so you kind of learn, learn some new shit. And always, if this video gets like... Mm, what do we say? 70 likes. I'll put that on my store for uh, 100 downloads, so you can, you can guys can download that. I have no idea how you guys could change the text because I'll, I'll show you how you make it. And then, yeah. So I'll probably put down the banner without the text. And yeah, maybe like that. The first thing you want to do is make a new file on a file 1,500 pixels on 500 pixels with a resolution of 300. Create that. That's the Twitter header size. You have a couple of characters. And then the first image you want to be a center image. So take something that you like. I'm gonna take the same image, just gonna make it a bit smaller. Gonna turn it more around. So it looks a bit different. So just search for an image that you like. Um, the first thing you want to do is color in your background. Uh, mostly a color is a color, dark color from the image itself. So a dark brown or a dark gray. Something like that, you see, always has a nice touch. And the other side, so you want to just make this banner in two. I want to, how I do this is just with a lasso tool, whatever, and then there you go, in the polygon lasso tool, just select the area, the right area, and take a color that you like, maybe blue. Let me see how blue is. And yeah, I think, I think blue is kind of nice. It doesn't really have the fire. Um, going on but it's still have this accent color of the pants so this is quite nice the next thing you want to do is take another another character and position it somewhere that you say yeah I, I like it this is this arm is really in the way but there's like nothing else I can do there's nothing really I can do about it maybe yeah that's that that's yeah that's it and just cut out the parts that are not really fitting so on one side you have another character they double click on the color character and go to color overlay and just so i take the other side color like the blue color and then you take another character so i'm gonna take this one and i'm gonna double click that i'm gonna take the other color from the banner so that's a darker brown i'm gonna make this a bit bigger like that and then i took a third one and put that behind everything like that I double clicked on her as well and I took a, I have taken a third color and I taken the color of his eyes you can choose whatever color you like I just think that it's quite nice in my opinion I'm gonna turn it a bit around and now you want a gradient map on the on the middle on the middle guy just go to click on on this little circle go click on gradient map and the thing is that I do is mostly I pick the right color and the left color and make a gradient out of that. So the thing is how, how we do it is so select the right color so that's blue and select the left color and that's like a dark brownish and then go make crane map and automatically he goes for for that for those two colors most of the times. If you don't just select the color by hand just click on the color and then just select the color that you like. You go. And then just press alt so you're making clipping mask on the character that you're on so we're gonna copy your main character in the middle and double click on that go to fill opacity remove that and put on stroke put the stroke on the inside and put it on one and just left go just move it a bit to the left not too much though something like that then i did um a couple of circles above um above everything so what do you want to do is just make a circle just fill it in with white and how did i fill that in i pressed alt and backspace so you fill that in like that make it a bit bigger double click on that the fill in past opacity gone just to move it to put it on zero and put a stroke on that so you have your circle you can make it bigger and smaller however you want and i think also that always has a nice touch to it a couple of circles you know a couple of circles um so the thing is let's go to the text now um, I have typed in Fireforge, I'm going to do the same thing for the total purpose, but you can do your name however you like and 
yeah how I like so I thought I thought force and I think I use the font what font did I wild force yeah the font wild force um, make it big but not too big I think I'm gonna make it a bit smaller now the thing is what you want to do is double click the layer and go to color overlay and choose a color that you like choose color I don't know you can steal my color if you want but you don't have to so click on the other layer and choose another color that you like and move it a bit down a bit down and to the right there you go this is where your 3d text comes in the thing you can do this with a pen tool or with a lasso tool i'm going uh, i'm going to do it easier and take the lasso tool you guys can follow uh, me along just click the left side and just click it like that so you click the first um, text that's above and then the text that's in the bottom just like this do that you just keep on doing that So the thing is, how you want to do the circle parts is take a hard round brush, put it around like 30, take the same color of the background color, go to the same layer and just click away. Like this, you see? And it's filled in like that. You can do the other part as well, like this. Do, you need to do this for the for the round edges of the, of the text. For the other edges you don't need to, like for the C just click away oh that's a bit too much and just it doesn't have to be perfect but it just needs to it just need to needs to look all right so the thing is what i want to do is on the top text i want to put a stroke with can we do blue maybe yeah yeah like a yellowish i want to put the stroke like on a two or three i'm gonna merge the two bottom layers so the layer that you filled in your text and the text layer double click that also put a stroke on that with the same color there you go you can yeah we can still change the color if you if you want like maybe a bit oh. uh, so the thing that I did is I typed fire just type fire and I took a different font and the font I took is another danger the demo version and I spread them out a bit made them a bit smaller and I've taken a, a white color, but you can choose whatever, whatever color you like, and I put it on top, uh, in the middle, so like that. And I think that's quite nice. I'll put a, a drop shadow on it, make the opacity a bit less. There you go. Drop shadow on that. I think that looks quite nice, in my opinion. Also, put a Japanese title of the anime. So let's just look that up. Fire Force Japanese, Japanese title. There you go. Um, take a font. Um, I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. Put the spacing about 300 or something. I, I like that it's spaced out and, and shit. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. A tiny bit bigger. There you go. I'm gonna put that around there. I'm gonna double click that layer. Put a stroke on that. Like a black stroke. Put it on one, maybe two. Um, so make take your rectangle tool, make a little square, fill that in with just white. A new layer, by the way. We can just make a new layer. Turn that around like that, and I'm gonna put that like that. Double click that. Give that a stroke of the color of your text. So I'm gonna take that pinkish. All right, and I'm gonna copy that. So I duplicated it. And double click that uh, put the color overlay on another or something else so the pinkish I put the stroke on uh, the darker part of your text so the so this this part there you go you have like a little little effect I don't know what that's called but it has a nice it has a nice effect I'm gonna make it a bit smaller there you go I'm gonna duplicate that and put it on the other side they go i don't know i don't know what that is but i had it's, it's quite a nice effect so and also what the thing is want to do is copy my text um put it a whole bit down and to the right as well double click on it put the color overlay on black there you go and put the opacity a bit down 
So it has like a shadow in the background. There you go. So what I do here is I use a couple of brushes, but I know you guys don't probably don't have brushes. So what I will do is I'll skip this part. You don't have to do this. But uh, I'll make a video about brushes that you can download my brush pack that I used and I'll show you how to use them and what, what thing and that will really make a difference to your designs so uh, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications to check out the next video about my brush pack some paper textures some easy paper textures, I'm gonna put one in there you go, what I used in my, my other banner put that above everything and then just take a corner and like it's like it has a like a ripped effect and it's quite nice make a new layer above everything take your brush just take a normal circle circle brush make the size about 500 600 take some blue make it a light blue and just give it, your design a couple of dots that's this like a routine that I always do on my designs always has a nice look put it on screen put your opacity a bit down I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna take another color come take this pinkish Gonna do the same thing. Put it on screen. Put the opacity around 20. There you go. And the last thing I want to do is so merged everything. So Control J and then Control E. Control E. So you have merged everything. I'm gonna put everything in a map. Just like that. I'm going to select my banner. Right click and select via cut. So there's no other parts are outside the, the viewing area so I'm gonna control I'm gonna copy the layer again control J or light, right click and copy layer go to filter camera raw filter this is what I do with my uh, all my designs right like see what goes nice with your design and just try start using it I guess There you go, so the colors have popped out a bit, just the camera raw filter, just just uh, go through everything, see what you like, see what you don't like, just really got, you really gotta know what your design is like. Just control J again, go to filter, camera raw filter, and if you're like, I I'm not bothered using any of this, just go to the presets, and just choose uh, one of them, just click on the Y, so you have the left, what it is, and right after. You can also go to this little circle and go to brightness and contrast, and put the contrast still a bit up and the brightness as well you can also go to a vibrance and put the vibrance all the way up really pops out your color and saturation there you go and if you now turn this off and turn this back on you really see the the difference of uh, what it does go to hue and saturation and hue and saturation you can change the color of your banner to whatever you like really it doesn't really matter uh, I do this with a lot of designs that use simple colors. Like I like this for instance, and I'm just gonna put the saturation a bit down. You can always just put a gradient on the top like this red one and put the put it on like color or hue and then like hue and then you have something like this. What I also quite enjoy, but I think I quite enjoy this more. I don't know. It's really up to you. Uh, you play a bit with your banner and see how it is. Like I like I like this a lot. I don't know about you guys, but um, the last thing I want to do as well is merge everything that you did. Just Ctrl E and select every layer of mer immersion. So Ctrl E, copy them, double click on the layer, and you have your RGB channels, and just click one of them away. I'm um, just gonna click R away, and I'm gonna take everything and put it to the right. You see, I have little like a little glitch effect and I, I think that's it's quite nice what you also can do is ctrl e everything ctrl j again go to filter noise add noise and add a little bit of noise not too much yeah there you go and there you have your uh, banner i think this is this is a this is a quite a nice banner in my opinion um i hope you guys enjoyed this this twitter header tutorial uh so uh watch out for the next video uh also if you want a banner, uh, a custom one that Anna can make for you, uh, just DM me on Twitter or Instagram and I can make you one. Not for free, it's 15 between 15 and 20 euros. If you make one and you use it, um, tag me in it. I always like to see what my fans have made. And thank you guys for watching. Leave a like to more fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.